What's up guys, it's Tej. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go over how to make bedroom pop music. Uh, just my take on it. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we start, I just want to mention all the drum sounds that I'm going to be using in this beat are going to be available for download just in the description below if you want to go download that. First I started out with this arpeggiated melody. It's out of the Dext plugin. This is a free plugin. I'm just using the Say Again uh, preset and that sounds like this. So to get that kind of wobbly sound, I put a rotor cabinet on it. This is a stock plugin in Logic um, with the speed on fast. It just sounds really good. It's also really good for guitars as well. Next, I added a pad under that melody and it sounds like this. So for that pad, I just used the stock electric piano plugin in Logic, but I added a lot of effects on it. The first notable one I added was the Drip plugin actually by Kyle Beats. This plugin is, it gets it gets memed a lot, but it's actually a really good plugin. I just used the lo-fi preset on it and it sounds nice. Next I added the classic RC20. Uh, I just used the Magnitude Transition 1 preset. And next I added a little counter melody and it sounds like this. So for that counter melody, I used Omnisphere. I just used the Pure and Spirit preset. I also used a little bit of the Drip plugin. Next, I added some bass guitar. For the bass, I used the Scarby Rickenbacker bass out of Contact. And then I just threw some compression on it. Next, I added another counter melody just for a different section of the track, and it sounds like this. Then I went ahead and started with the drums. And then I went ahead and added an 808, just because the kids love the 808 nowadays. And when the beat drops, I actually switched up the first melody and made it go from top to bottom instead of bottom to top. Sounds like this. To get that bedroom poppy, like wobbly, rundown sound, I actually take all the tracks and then pitch them down a little bit by slowing the track down. I'll show you how I do that. What you wanna do is select all your tracks and then bounce them out and bring them back into the project so they're just audio files. And now what you wanna do is go to flex time using Command F, this is logic only, and make sure all the tracks are on speed effects here. And now when I slow it down, the pitch will actually change. So I slowed it down from 126 BPM to 115 BPM. This is what it sounds like with the original tempo. And this is what it sounds like when I slow it down. You notice that difference? It sounds nice and like warm feeling. It kind of adds a analog texture to it. And without further ado, this is the final beat that I came up with.
Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. This beat's actually gonna be for sale on my beat store by the time I post this video. So if you're an artist and you wanna purchase this beat, hit me up, go to my beat store. There you go. And just a reminder, I will be posting the drum sounds I used in the description below if you wanna go download those. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Um, thank you so much guys, appreciate it.